Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. I know I promised you guys a full collection video, but I kind of decided, you know what? I'm going to break it down. I'm going to do my full, all, my entire Jordan 1 collection, if you guys can see. My whole entire Jordan 1. This is how I set it all up. Like, my entire Jordan 1 collection. And I'm just going to do it like that. I'm not going to do my full collection. I might do, like, all my Yeezys and so on and so forth. But I think when I hit another milestone, then I'll do an entire full collection video. But as of right now, I just want to do... Uh, you know my ones and also because a full collection on video takes a long time to do and I don't got that much time Go ahead. Let's just start off with all my Jordan ones. I'll go ahead. I have it all displayed like here uh, These are my little cubicle, you know organized things or whatever We're gonna go with Shatter backboards you guys already know this is the standard what everyone goes off of on all Jordan ones because uh, you guys know how the quality on these things are, the, the leather quality, just take a look at this leather quality, just everything about it, just this is the standard, and you guys already know, so I had to have this in my collection. Go with a couple OG colorways, first off the bat, you guys already know, black toes, uh, the black toes, these are the 2017, 16, 16 I believe, yeah, these are the 2016 versions, um, it's, you know, still pretty Decent quality leather, not all that great, but you know it's still good in it's OG colorway. Can't go wrong with it. Another one, okay, my one of my also fan favorite. You guys are know bread toes. Uh, rumors to release sometime again this year. We shall see about that. But another uh, good one. These are the bread toe band ones. Had to get this. This is when I start coming out with a nice little tumble leather right here on the panels. One another standard. Here you guys go. One of my favorite colorways of ones, if you guys didn't know, the Royal Ones. Band One treatment came right after the Band Ones. I think, you know, has a little nice little leather quality and all that good stuff. Oh, can go another one. Shatter Ones. This is another good one. Shatter Ones. Decent. I don't know. Not that much hype on these resale on them when they first came out, but they're starting to creep up now. And these are the home to homage. You can't go wrong with these as well. Best of both worlds. You guys already know. Red ones and Chicago's on the inner side, half and half. I call these the um, Scarface. Game Royals, you guys know about these? Game Royals. Uh, at the time, these things weren't going for anything. And now look at these things. These things kind of skyrocket. This is a shoe that I kind of made me realize that ones, you just never know about a shoe, especially when these first came out. I could have like 20 pair of these things. There you go. And these are the UNC ones as well. These came out right after the Chicago ones. And I just, you know, a lot of people kind of slept on these things, to be honest, when they first came out. And I was like, you know what? I think I had like two pairs at first. Here you go. One of my favorite uh, Jordan 1 releases last year was the Rookie of the Year 1. Just because the suede. So buttery. Nice material. I just love everything about it. I love how they show his, like, his speech on the inner and also his uh, stats on his Rookie Year. So, Rookie of the years. I'm gonna go with blue chills. These are okay. They, these are pretty cool. Uh, I remember I had to do my little sneak attack to get in these things. Blue chills. Um, gym reds. What do you guys know about this? I know a lot of people hate when I call these things the poor men's uh, no no resale, but I mean it's it's still pretty cool. I like to have this in my collection, but it does really look like the Noels. Yes, my absolute. I should have saved this for last, but. One of my absolute favorite OG colorways, actually my favorite OG colorways, is the Chicago ones. These things bring back a lot of memories, just because how difficult these things were to get back then, especially in 2016. And they're only going for like 300 or 350. Now they're going for like 1,900 or something like that. But still, rumors to come out again sometime uh, 2020. Got the Spider-Man joints. I like these things, man. Resemble just like the Chicago ones, Miles, Spider-Man, whatever. I don't know my son has a couple, have a pair of these too. Oh, got a kink. The twist, or I actually call these the ponies. This this came from an event from Oneness. Oneness had a special event because uh, we got these during Derby time. And if you guys, you know, pony hairs, Derby time, horse racing, something very special for our city. So this, I just brings. This one is just very sentimental. Sentimental for my area in Louisville, if you guys didn't know. So I'm very thankful for them to invite me. Gold toes, you know, it's cool, you know? All pet and leather, gold toes. Uh, bread toes, you know, I have a couple stories on these things. 
bread toes you, if you guys didn't know yes i had like four or five pairs i end up trading one pair for tinker threes whatever but you know what i still got my own personal pair bread toes just bust both of these out at the same time these came out the same day we got pine greens and we have court purples uh pine greens were a little bit more available than the court purples definitely can't rock, wait to rock these when i go down to uh hopefully la sneaker con just because all right now shout outs to reyes if you guys want to follow him he makes these custom boxes i definitely want to have to show love this is what i want to put all my expensive and grail ones here even though my chicago one's still my absolute favorite but just have to have the special box let's lift this bad boy up you guys already know bam check this out check it out fire everything about this one this is all my very most expensive jordan one collection we'll just go ahead and just okay not for resale no l's the reason why these are <laughs> worth a lot of money of course but uh very special because in our area oneness had a camp out basically first come first serve uh basically what happens they keep the box and you had to walk out with these on your feet so that's pretty cool what they did over on oneness didn't get out oneness though so shout out to my dude mario kicks la to chicago that's right man just because man la la to chicago and that's right only the travis scott sixes la or chicago got these things at, at the foot action reserv reservation so uh oh here we go satin shattered backboards yeah i actually almost forgot i actually had these things and now they these things skyrocket up to like almost 1200 dollars. and this is a size 10 and a half and this is a women's shoe all right let's go with oh I think this is one of my favorite releases this year. The satin uh, black toes. Yes, I had to pull out the OG colorways, but with a satin, I think this looks phenomenal. Yes, it is a women's shoe. Very limited, especially in my size. Very hard, it was very difficult. Uh, if you guys didn't know about my story, when I went to the mall, I had to tell them I worked at uh, the nail shop to get into the mall. I guess I just didn't have room for these. Obsidians, you guys know about these? Obsidians, what's up? I still got, I got one pair left. Still dope colorway. I, I'm just glad they finally came back with the patent leather or the tumble leather. We've been getting kind of crazy leather all year. So glad they went back. Oh, we're gonna pull out both the unions. That's right. And you guys already know the unions. Uh, LA uh, unions got the black toes and the storm blues. What else can you say about these things, man? These things are just amazing, immaculate. One of the best shoes to ever come out last year and i just try to down talk it because i wasn't trying to spend that money and these things are just amazing 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 Let's see oh we'll go with these lows i don't i don't have where's all my lows oh yeah i got rid of all my lows this is the only lows i have left these are north unc lows got these in dc all right if you guys didn't know unc off whites i did get these things on a shock drop shout outs to just having a shock drop like seriously this is the first time i actually got a w on some off whites got a got a w on the shock drop super super hyped one oh my goodness that was i was so hyped about that but yes got these things on the shock drop amazing uh these things uh won't get out of my collection now i just want to show off of course you guys gotta show travis scott ones you guys already know about these things, man. Yes, I took an L. Uh, thank goodness I took a W on the sixes. Uh, but I got an L on these. Had to get these things. Definitely had to get these things. And especially the price on these things is going so crazy. Like, I'm looking at my size, of course, money size. Going for like two racks, man. $1,900. Insane. So, box here. Ooh. This is a custom that I did. Custom Royals. Uh, if you guys can see, has a laser. This was all white laser had the icy bottoms i did a custom on these things this is before when the this is before when these released and i just like this colorway i just like this colorway a lot and i was like man i just want to go ahead and just do it shouts to sneaker in the bay for giving me the inspiration for doing these things and at the time for these lasers man you could have got these things on sale it was like a hundred bucks or something like that and I got a pair for like a hundred dollars and I did, you know, my custom and all that, but yeah, custom. All right, I'm gonna end it off with this. So everyone wants to call Jordan 1's hype beast. Though you get a Jordan 1, you're a hype beast, on Mac hype beast. Let me show you, I tell you something about, you know what? 
you guys tell me what is your oldest Jordan 1 in your collection, okay? Here it is. Royal 1's 2000, okay? Get off me, bro. Okay? Seriously. Jordan 1 2000 pair. These, I've been having this for a minute now, okay? So don't just call me a Jordan 1 hype beast. I've been collecting ones, okay? I've been one. I've been liking ones before Kanye made it all popular. But here, Jordan 1 Royals 2000. Still got... Still got the retro card I'll put in the ziplock and also in the keychain as well. So you guys are know. All right. That's I won the grails here. Barely wear these things because it's uh, so separating and everything. These are kind of beat, you know, like I said, it's been like over 20 years now. About 20 years now. But that is it. So that is it for my Jordan 1 collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what is your grail of your Jordan 1s. Um, like I said, I got a lot of Jordan 1s, one of my favorite silhouettes. Jordan 1s, one of my favorite silhouette and ultimate hype beast as of late. You know, you guys already know, especially with all the resale and all that craziness that's been going on. But what else? Just want to show you guys my Jordan 1 collection. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop big guys. Right, I'm Jumpman Chris. And also follow me on, on my social media, at Jumpman Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and also on Snapchat. I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.